Well, hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Southern Boy Farm. I'm Kelvin and right now I am over here at my newly planted, well almost newly, it's been in the ground for about a month now and uh, I thought that I had done the absolute wrong thing by trimming off those other two canes in the very beginning, leaving only one because a couple of weeks went by and I saw nothing. And then bang, one bud, two buds, three buds, four buds, five buds, and all of these vines started coming up. And it has been growing uh, inches every single day, which I'm very happy about. And if we look, adjust the camera here a little bit. This vine right here, is already touching the five foot wire. There we go, looking good. But now, as with all things that we grow, here's the issue. You knew there had to be an issue because otherwise, why would I just be simply doing an update? So let's take a look. This right now doesn't resemble the majority of grapevines that you see out there. And that's because right now there are just all kinds of vines coming out and heading on out and that's all well and good but this vine has a mission and that mission that i have set for it is for it to get up to the five foot wire and to run down one in one direction the other in the other direction and to get out to be uh, 10 feet long on both sides. Okay, so from what I've seen or heard on uh, other YouTube channels of people who have grown muscadine uh, vines here in Florida, potentially in year three and afterwards, I can get up to 60 pounds worth of grapes off of just this one vine. Now, that's a lot of grapes uh, for one person because uh, <laughs> I don't really think I'm going to share. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to share all of this with, with everybody else. But the, the point is we've got to get there. And in order to get there, we have to prevent the plant like with tomatoes, cucumbers, squash. Uh, we have to prevent the plant from wasting energy on branches, vines, stems that aren't going to be beneficial to the final product. So in this case, since I've got some all the way down here and I don't need it, I've already got one at the five foot mark and I've got a few more that are almost there, will definitely be there by the end of the week. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of all the rest of these. So, now that I've got the two vines that I want to let grow up. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prune this even more. You see, this vine, like the tomato plant, also gets suckers that I want to go ahead and eliminate because they're just going to sap the vine of necessary energy for, for the growth. Because even if I don't get grapes this year, what I do want is to maximize on the growth so that next year I can prune during our winter and be ready for a nice big uh, vine to come about next year in the spring. So let me bring the camera in a little closer so you can see, just in case you're not familiar with how tomato pruning goes. And I only do this pruning on the indeterminate tomatoes, not the determinates. I go ahead and let the determinates grow for as long as they can. 
All right, so if you look, we've got a leaf, we've got the main stem, we've got a tendril like on a cucumber plant, and then between it, we have the sucker. Just gonna go ahead and pinch that out. Pinch that out. Let that keep going. Got a plant. Got sucker right there growing up. Just gonna go ahead and pinch that out as well. For now, growth is the key. So that's that one. Oh, another little piece I forgot here. Clear it, snip it on up. And there's still <laughs> new buds coming out. All right. God bless them. Everybody wants to be alive. Everybody wants to survive. And I get it. I get it. There we go. How do they say? Shave and a haircut. No fun. All right, so isn't she pretty still? She's still a gorgeous girl. And she's going to grow up and continue. And one will head south and one will head north. And we will have ourselves some fantastic grapes. If not this year, it's okay. Next year for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, so until the next time, love yourself, love those around you. Cost you nothing, but it'll mean so much. Thumbs up, thumbs down. God bless America. I don't mind which. Take care of yourselves. Be gentle with yourself. Love yourself most importantly. All right, until the next time, see you later. Bye.